The $155 million Seabrook floodgate complex is part of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' design for 100-year perimeter hurricane and storm surge risk reduction system for New Orleans. Located where the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal meets Lake Pontchartrain, the complex is designed to reduce the risk of storm surge pushing from the north into the canal. The plus 16-foot elevation complex will include a 95-foot wide navigable sector gate and two 50-foot wide non-navigable auxiliary vertical lift gates. The Seabrook complex will work in tandem with the IHNC Lake Bourne surge barrier at the southern end of the canal. Albarisi Constructors of St. Louis designed the two rows of circular cell coffer dams that will serve the dual purpose of protecting against storm surge this hurricane season and creating a safer, more efficient way to build the permanent complex in the dry. Initially, the Corps had proposed a double combi wall coffer dam. Albarisi's circular cell design saved time and money by eliminating the need for a 25,000 cubic yard concrete trimmy seal slab. The coffer dam is comprised of 11 60-foot diameter cells and three 40-foot diameter cells. On April 29th, it took Griffin Dewatering Corporation of Houston, Texas about 14 hours to pump out the estimated 15 million gallons of water from the minus 28-foot coffer dam. Griffin used 42 deep wells to lower the piezometric head of the groundwater table 5 feet below the excavation to minus 33 to minus 35 feet to relieve hydrostatic pressure and for the cofferdam unwatering. Before installing the cofferdam, Albarisi installed a rock dike across the canal to address a minus 95 foot scour hole that had been created from storm surges over the years. Albarisi filled the hole with sand and then used vibro compaction to achieve consolidation. The complex also includes 1,600 linear feet of concrete T-walls to tie into flood walls on either side and a railroad crossing. Dave Calcaterra, Albarisi's project manager, says the project is interesting and fits the contractor's sweet spot because it utilizes marine, heavy civil, and gate fabrication. The coffer dam is tentatively scheduled for, for removal in December. Gate installation will follow. Project completion is scheduled for March 2012.